Good morning. So I just woke up and I uh, hit a new language learning milestone. I thought I would share that because <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. So I've been studying uh, Russian for almost 10 years. It's really close to 10 years. I think it's been nine. And uh, just about seven months ago, I moved to a region where people speak predominantly Russian and uh, it really does make a big difference. Um, it's funny because I don't even get to speak it. I don't even get to speak it every day, actually, because my work schedule and stuff like that. I don't even really speak it any more than I would at home when I was studying really intensely. But there's just something so different about using it for your daily life, I think. But anyway, I, I have another theory, too, as to why. But first of all, what, what it was. So... For the first time, I had a dream in Russian. And when I say that, it, like Russian has been in my dreams before, but it's just that it's always been in my dreams. It was never a dream in Russian. And so like there's been a word, a few words, but it always felt foreign in my dream. In this dream, the dream was weird. My dreams are always weird. So the person who was my best friend in college had a kid in the dream. And uh, in real life, he has kids, but this was nothing like his real kids. So it was just a dream. And in the first part of the dream, um, basically every time I spoke to the kid, I spoke, we spoke in Russian. In the first part of the dream, the kid was like maybe three or four years old or something. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I was speaking in Russian. That's why I made, made this video as soon as I woke up, because I quickly start to forget these things from dreams, you know. But basically within like a few seconds it just magically fast forwarded far into the future and I'm not sure how old she was supposed to be like a young teenager probably and uh, I didn't age because it was a dream I, I don't know if I was supposed to be older but I looked and felt exactly the same as I do now and uh, we were basically just like walking along this like we, we were like in like some kind of a building but it I don't think it was a store. I think maybe it could have even been a museum. And then all of a sudden we we're walking along this path, like outside, like like through side streets, basically, and just talking about life. And it would be like in a movie, like that older person being a mentor kind of thing. And uh, I was kind of giving her like just life advice and just asking like, hey, how are you know how are things going? What are your plans for the future? Do you are you going to go to college? But the whole time, the whole conversation was in Russian. It was pretty cool. So the second thing that I might attribute that to is well, it could just be the level that I've reached. I'm finally starting to improve. Um, I kind of hit a plateau for the last like four or five years, I think, even where I was upper intermediate and maybe I still am but the point is the level that I reached I just stayed there I didn't feel like I was actually improving I don't really think that I was improving and uh, lately I feel like I've just hit this point where I'm starting to improve again and this is because I've, I've been studying a lot more actually lately um, like I said I've been living here I think that kind of motivates you to study and I found a new study technique that just really hits me, right? Where it's right exactly what I needed. Um, and I don't know if this would work for everybody. I don't know if this would have worked for me three years ago. But I know that right now, this is exactly what I need. And so what I do is um, I've, I'm to a point where I really want to hit on verbs. And there's two reasons for that. One is when I speak in Russian, I can speak very comfortably as long as I just describe things and don't have to talk about use any action verbs or use like the two or three action verbs that I'm really comfortable with and, and the verb to be. So that's, uh, I noticed that. And so I really want to focus on verbs for that reason because that's where I need to improve. The second reason is I think that some of this will be especially true in Russian, but I think this applies to most languages anyway. So the grammar for nouns is is challenging but relatively simple and i feel like you that you can easily hammer it down get to a point where you have it like mostly down like even just like c level like if it was a, if it was a grade you know you feel like if you were to take some test on it you'd get a 70 percent or an 80 percent it's not like you have to have it all the way down 
And for me, I think this would be true for most people. Nouns are a million times easier to memorize than verbs. And there's, so even if, say, you want to make flashcards on nouns where you don't use, where you don't translate, it's really easy to make a flashcard for like a person. You put a person in the picture, you know. You, you want to make a flashcard for the word dress. You put a dress in the picture. It's really easy. Verbs are very hard to convey. Some verbs are easy, but most of them, the vast majority of them are very hard to convey that way. So, and just, I think this is also probably true for most people. Verbs are harder to remember. I have a much harder time. If you give me five nouns and you give me five verbs, I'll probably remember four of the five nouns. I'll probably remember one of the five verbs. It's just they're a lot harder to remember for some reason. And uh, the second reason is I think the verbs are actually the most important. So I feel like if I were to go back and start over and learn a new language even, getting a handle on nouns first is important because they're easier and uh, because you need enough nouns to hang your verbs on, to hang on to your verbs. But once you get uh, enough nouns down, well, you know, whatever, I, I don't know how many you should have, but enough and a relatively comfortable with the grammar of the nouns, then it's time to move on the verbs and probably never look back. Because as you learn your verbs, the sentences, clauses are built around verbs in every language. It's the way language works. And all of the grammar of nouns is built around the verb. That's true in Russian. I think that's true in most languages. I can't say it's true in all. But um, yeah, so the reason that you choose to conjugate a noun a certain way is based the vast majority of the time on the verb that it's associated with, or say it's based on the preposition. Well, the preposition that you choose to use is also usually based on the verb that it's associated with. So yeah, those that's, that's my theory. And um, the, the actual method that I've been using is I listen to... Um, anything I switch it up so I don't get bored and because my my end goal of what I really want to focus on is challenging and complicated and also kind of narrow in its scope and vocabulary um, my end goal is to make math videos in, in Russian that's, that's my goal <laughs> it's kind of quirky but it's my goal it's what I want to do it's what I want to accomplish and uh, when so sometimes I'll watch math videos on YouTube in Russian but here's what I do, um, and I do this a little bit different ways. So depending on what mood I'm in and you know how focused I am, if I'm really focused and I really want to hammer it down, I'll probably pause after I hear a verb, any single verb. And this might be a little easier in Russian than some languages because in Russian you can, even if I don't know the meaning of it, I can tell it's a verb based on the form. Um, so that really does help. But Anytime I hear a verb, I pause it, I write down the verb. If I'm really feeling froggy, I'll look up the meaning of the verb in my Russian English dictionary here that I that I won as a prize actually a while a few years ago. But it's, I found actually more often it's I just don't do that. I uh, I just write it down. And just the act of writing it down helps me for a couple reasons. One um, it kind of allows me to listen to native speech at full speed, but at the same time slow down because when I pause it, I notice as I'm writing, I start to kind of recall naturally some of the words associated with the word that I just wrote down. Maybe I get the whole phrase, maybe even I have the whole sentence in my mind if it was a sentence that I mostly understood and was familiar with in the first place. Maybe the only thing I can think of is the word that I wrote down, but it still really helps. And uh, um, I've also reached a point where most of the verbs are verbs that I no, but I don't know them well enough that I, w I might not have even understood it in that context, or it went by so fast that I might not have caught it if I didn't take the time to pause it and write it down. And um, even for the ones that I don't know, sometimes I can have still some mild association, like, oh, I think I've seen that before. I think I've heard that before. That kind of looks like this other word over here. So yeah, so that's that's what I've been doing. and. Um, Sometimes though, if I'm not in the mood to write down so much or to pause it so much, I'll just write down more like keywords. Like, so as I said, I'm to a point where a lot of the verbs I've already familiar with. 
So maybe I'll only pause it on the verbs that I'm really uncomfortable with. Or and and I don't worry so much about oops, did I miss a verb? It's just kind of like, you know, I try to keep it a little more casual feeling. And uh, finally, the other thing is, I did this the other day, so this might be another reason, the second reason, maybe the third reason, I don't know, I'm not counting, another reason that I was able to dream in Russian last night. So I, uh, so last night I watched We're the Millers in Russian, and uh, I've already seen it in English, and it's funny, so that's why I just felt like watching a comedy, and um what I did was I for the first 20 minutes of the film I spent about an hour watching the first 20 minutes where I would do what I just said I would pause it and I would write down every single verb and I ended up with a whole half a page of computer paper of just written verbs and I write pretty small um, and then after that though I just let it play and just focused on the movie and uh, it, it did help. It kind of like primed my brain to listen better because I'm kind of a lazy listener. And but the other reason I think it might have helped is because I laughed quite a bit during the movie. I think it's pretty funny. And uh, the night before, I did this same thing with uh, Game Night, except I only ended up watching half the movie because, like I said, I've seen it before and it was late and I wanted to go to bed. But I laughed a lot during that too. And I just, that might also be another reason why I ended up dreaming in Russian last night, because I had that like a deep emotional connection through all the laughter. Um, yeah, so this is my, my celebration of my new milestone. <laughs>